Hey there, Bryce speaking from NZ Home Business and today I want to talk about uh, creating images and you need, you need images for a lot of things online don't you, whether you've got a blog or um, what else, well things like that anyway and what I use here is Canva, Canva is an awesome system because uh, as you can see all the dimensions are already sorted out, you can use dimensions custom dimensions to make your own that you want or you can come here and um, and decide what dimensions you want to use see here I'll just um, I've just refreshed that and go here um, and see it's got all these sizes already made for you uh, Twitter posts Pinterest graphic is what I use quite often and safe safe oh, safe book sorry about that Facebook post that's the perfect size if you really want to get, you know, if you're in some groups and you want to get people to really look at your business, um, these posts are, are these posts are big, so you know people are going to see them. And um, as I continue to go down, you see all the rest of them. Uh, thumbnail, I use that quite often for my YouTube videos. And channel art, Facebook cover. So these are all very very useful. And um, so I'll say I, I'll create a design. What should I do? I'll do a Pinterest, Pinterest graphic. So here you go. You got um, some images here. So that's some um, Pinterest um, pics that have already been made. And you can see if you go here, you can change the likes of the text or whatever you want to do. But we don't want to do that. I always pretty much make them from scratch, from start. So you just click on that. Uh, it should get rid of the whole thing. Or I'll just uh, refresh. Just a moment. Yeah, I'm still with us. So I don't very really often use these. But there you go, that's getting rid of it all. You can do this, so you can just take away each part as you want, as you go. Right. Right, let's carry on. So, this is the way I normally do it. Um, so, I'll, up, I'll upload a picture. Uh, what have I got that I can use there? Uh, not, there's not a lot there at the moment, actually. I'll cancel that. Another site I use is uh, Pixabay. Pixabay, here it is. This is great because it's got all, um, you know, it's got lots of um, free images and it's also got free videos as well, which can be put into your YouTube videos. So I'll um I'll just type in something here. Goals. So I suppose there's a lot of sports goals there, isn't there? Different sports. But uh, if I was looking up, you know, something to achieve your goals to make a Pinterest um, pin about that. So I'll just save the image. Uh, I'll put it on the desktop just for now. Okay, now back to Canva, and we were doing, here we are, so I'll upload that picture now, here it is, and I'll pull it over here, so I'll make, um, I'll say, uh, are you determined to reach your goals, just, are you determined Goals. So I like to always make the font as much uh, as big as I can. Just stretch it out there, and it all fits. And we'll do the same with the picture. So it's entirely up to you how complicated you want to make your how complicated you want to make your pin. Uh, I'll just 
just make it a teeny bit smaller actually. So the question mark gets up top. That should do it. Perfect, right. And so we'll play some more text. Uh, just pull that along there. And then you decide what font you want. Um, this one down here I really like. I use for all my for all my pins. Here we go, it's called School Bell. And I'll just put my blog address here. And of course I'll make you make it as big as it will go. As much room as you've got. There we go. And I'll just pull that down because there's something else I also add. I like to add um, these elements here. And I just like to add lines. I mean you can make yourself a border. You can do whatever you like with um with these lines. But as you see I just I just like to do this. And I also I also normally make these red. So here's all your different colours you can use. That will do. And the same for here. To red. And I use a background. I use a grey background. So there you go. That's all ready to go to Pinterest. So I'll download that now. Cool. Right, and I'll show you how we'll bring that up on Pinterest. We're over to Pinterest now. So save the pin from my device. Upload the image. And here it is. An example. Destination URL. Where do we want that to go to? Um, I'm just I was just gonna go to I'm just at my blog here now. And I'm just going to run through my pages here because I'm going to link that um, link that pin to one of my blog posts. Just got to find the post that I was going to use. Now, where was it? Uh, that's just the hello bar coming up on my blog. So I should have grabbed the URL before we did this, shouldn't I? Uh, here we go. This is the post that I was going to use. So I'll copy and paste that. Copy and then I'll go back here and say that's the URL, it's the page I want it to go to if people click on that link. Continue and you can you can um, tell people about that post, tell people about the pin, like what's there. So I'll just copy the first line of my article, copy and then I'll bring it back here and place it here. paste. Now we pick a group we want it to go to. Um, I've recently got involved in in sharing and groups where you know sharing groups so I think that's great it's great to be part of those because it's getting your information out there. So there you go we've saved that and then we can see it now. You'll see that we'll see that bigger. So now we'll go back. Here we go. Now we'll just go here to my profile. Oops, there it is. The moment I thought it was going to come up. It wasn't going to come up, so there it is. I determined to reach your goals, and then I click on that. 
you probably know this already, or do you? And then um, read it. Goes to my article. There you go. And I placed that in one of the groups. Yeah, of course, it comes up on my Pinterest page. But that was in one of the groups. It was in Love of Blogging. So, where's Love of Blogging? Yeah. Somewhere. Here we go. So, let's see. We should see my pin there. There you go. There's my pin. Yeah, these. Um, groups are great because it's really getting your info out there and you know that should um, it should come back to your to your blog or wherever your pins are coming from getting more views and there's another this see there's another one of mine from earlier there's two of mine earlier that are already in this group as well okay sorry that was a bit of a long took a, took a while to do some on that didn't I but that's that for now so that's showing us how how useful Canva can be, you know, to create nice looking pins. So I hope you enjoy using Canva if you start to use it. Thank you.